things that was really important to us is to keep everything very simple out here and not be elaborate. Um, this is gonna be a long process, so I hope that you'll stay with us and be patient as we build out the cabin and finish out the inside. We wanna make sure that um, we're able to pay as we go and not um, get ahead of ourselves. We don't wanna go in debt to be able to have this little cabin or weekend house. And so it's gonna be a slow process, but we are excited about the journey that it's gonna take us on. Yeah, so we hope you stick with us and follow us through this journey and uh... Will be fun. The next big project we're gonna do is the spray foam insulation. So uh, it, it's 82 today. When we first came and opened up the door, you could feel the heat. It's hot in the house. So we wanna try to get the spray foam in before the summer heat really kicks in so that it's uh, we can put a little window unit in until we're able to have electricity, plug it into the generator and cool out the cabin to make it comfortable. Yeah, if you're not familiar with this part of Texas in the summertime, it is hot and it is humid and uh, it can be quite miserable during those hot summer days so we're trying to make it uh, where we can be comfortable out here we have a place to go cool off and then we can come out and sweat and then go in and cool off some more look at we can call this segment porch talk, porch talk. keeping it real with porch talk porch talk with sean and tony yeah porch talk i like that let's have some porch talk all right okay what do you want to talk about um what do you want to talk about? So we decided this would be a great opportunity to address some of the comments that we've had in our shut to cabin video. We used a private contractor from Houston that came out on site to build the shed for us. Um, it's about a two and a half hour drive. He did it off grid with no water, no electricity, and he charged us about 19,500 for the build out of the shell. As we previously mentioned, our next big step is spray foam insulation. However, due to the rain in the area, we've developed a soft spot in the driveway and the spray foam insulation requires a big heavy truck to come onto the property. So we can't get the truck onto the property until the driveway has been repaired and that should be happening in the next couple of weeks and then we'll move right into spray foam insulation. Thank you for watching. If you like our content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Again, we appreciate your support. Go have an adventure of your own. Bye, y'all.